Um, so I used the, the big broom, the little broom. I'm using the dustpan as a shovel to keep the snow from going back in because that would get frustrating. And it's not from opening the top because it was all the way inside. So I don't know. It's, maybe it's the universe <laughs> saying, ah, uh, you tired of the RV lifestyle yet? So I'm now using paint stick. Does the color look familiar? <laughs> Does the color look familiar? Uh, so, and I'm getting the nooks and crannies. Um, like, oops. And it's getting dark, of course. So you might have a little bit of trouble seeing this. This is frozen. At least I got most of it because that would be bad. Uh, electrical water. It's not water yet, it's, it's just snow. Water is, then I know what I'm gonna do is uh, I have one of those uh, just oh I have one of those damp rids so I might just put one in there to help get rid of the humidity because I am so SOL it's not funny oh my gosh look at this <sighs> so I'm just gonna get a toe There's a, a place a few blocks away, about a mile or two. We're on 60, like 65th Avenue and it's by 40th Avenue in Calgary where um, you can do your own work. Yay! And they can lift the RV and they have everything, they have a bay and they only charge like 25 bucks an hour compared to the uh, $100 an hour mechanic who will be fiddling around, um, mobile mechanic. And I'm sure he's really good, but he's not within my budget because I don't have time for them to fiddle around and milk the job so anyways um oh my goodness like seriously how am i gonna get this I got snow on my belt. I got snow like on my engine. I got snow on parts that I've replaced. I got snow on parts that are gonna rust. I got, look at this. I got snow on electrical components. It's not in the owner's manual. <laughs> it's not in the owner's manual. Oh my goodness. So anyways, the problem is, it well, before the snow took over, it was losing power. And um, could be the fuel pump could be I replaced the ignition coil although with all this electrical issue 
who knows could be um, a fuse issue I bought one of these things ignition modular or something or other because um, it's part of the electrical system but the carburetor needs adjusting there's a fuel leak probably this needs to be tightened um, and I'm replacing the fuel pump and I'm hoping that does the trick um, this is misadventures <laughs> your selfie whisper uh, don't forget to subscribe it's Sunday evening so there's nothing I can do about it right now <laughs> look how much snow is underneath it look at this there's not supposed to be this much snow so it's possible even the snow it's possible that the snow blew underneath blew underneath the RV and then just kind of went and up I would not doubt it May 1st is Tuesday. May 1st is in two days. Just to kind of give everybody some perspective. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so, ow. Uh, I'm probably going to be selling this RV once it's fixed up. Um, I'm getting cold, sorry. Uh, I'm probably, and yes, it's spring and I'm freezing. Um, hold on. And motorhomes are selling for you know, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 in this age group. And I put a lot of work into it. Um, I got new electrical system, new carburetor, new um, master cylinder, new oil pump, new ignition coil, new rotor, new distributor cap, new wires, new uh, uh, fuel filter, and um, this is the isolator, that's new. There's going to be a new controller pretty soon, new fuel pump, battery's new too. Don't leave the radio on. <laughs> ah! Anyways, uh, this is Miss Adventures, your selfie whisper. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'm probably going to sell this for about like $39.50, between $2,500 $3, and $39.50. Um, oh, and it has four tires and uh, like four spare tires and um, the interior has been painted. It's insulated. It was minus six last night and I didn't even turn on the heat. So, um, yeah. And it comes with a story or two so but it'll be fixed up by then and uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it take care